First, there will be a lot of rejections. I got rejections from a lot of companies off campus when I was uh, trying initially. But uh, and at those times, it is hard to stay motivated. But you should. I remember I tried to complete at least three problems each day on Lead Code. Well, after I applied, uh, since they uh, were aware that I already hold the offer for Amazon. So mm-hmm. they skipped the initial uh, one round. I was getting a lot of requests for Amazon's international processes. So in this video, I have with me somebody who has recently cracked Amazon Luxembourg. So today in this video, I have with me Kaushini Karmaka. She's from Heritage Institute of Technology, Kolkata, and she has cracked Amazon Luxembourg. So in this video, we'll discuss with her regarding her entire process preparation strategy. What all things should you keep in mind if you're applying for any international positions and how to get those interview calls, how to get those test links from uh, these international locations. So each and everything we are going to discuss. But before that, let's have a brief introduction of Kaushini. Hi, Yash. Uh, Thanks for the invite to your channel. Uh, I'm Koshani. I am a recent CSE graduate of 2022 batch. I am a former MITAX research fellow, and I currently hold an offer for the role of software development engineer at Amazon Luxembourg, which is uh, basically the European headquarter of Amazon. Uh, yeah. So uh, we'll we'll discuss each and everything. Whether the main part of this video should be like everyone has been waiting for is your entire process, like how you got to know about this opportunity, how did you apply, whether it was through referral or it was without referral, and when did you exactly got that test link? Yeah, uh, so uh, I got to know through a friend that there is an opening at Amazon uh, in the position of Luxembourg, and thereafter I applied directly at the Amazon.jobs uh, portal, the careers page. Mm-hmm. I had to upload my CV, fill up the details, and uh, there is basically a form uh, which you have to submit. And uh, after applying, after around two weeks, I uh, got the test link for the first round. The first round was a coding round on hacker rank, which had to be uh, attempted within five days of getting the test link. Okay. And uh, so I brushed up a few uh, concepts of data structures and uh, the patterns, the important patterns of coding, like a two pointer sliding window, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And I went for the test and uh, it was basically two questions, uh, which had to be attempted in uh, one and a half hours. And uh, I would say the level was of lead code intermediate. Hmm. Hmm. Thereafter, uh, after attempting round one, I could uh, solve both the coding questions. I was uh, invited to attempt the round two, Hmm. uh, which again was divided into two parts. The first part was uh, what they call a SDE simulation, which is for the Europe positions only, I think. Uh, it is where they uh, provide you clips and uh, recordings of uh, messages obtained from your co-workers and uh, you would have to take a decision based on the problem given uh, mm-hmm. or you have to uh, calculate uh, calculate something based on the data given in charts and tables. Mm-hmm. They basically present the behavioral or logical problems that a software engineer at Amazon would face throughout a day. Mm-hmm. Uh, And the second part in this round was the work style assessment, which is uh, exactly the same as the one they take in Amazon India and is based on uh, leadership principles. Hmm. Uh, Sufficient time is given to attempt this round and this round went well. Great, great. So you gave this test, like uh, when did you get to know you cleared this test and you you were invited for interviews? Like how long was that wait time? Yeah, uh, I after a month of attempting these two rounds, I got a mail from Amazon that I have cleared these uh, two rounds and I'm eligible for the interview. Mm-hmm. After that, uh, a week uh, after that, my interview was scheduled. Okay, so now we'll come on to the interview process, like how many interview rounds were there, what all important topics were discussed in those interview rounds and like uh, how was your entire experience of the, these interviews? So uh, in the Amazon Luxembourg interview, uh, it consisted of three rounds, each of one hour, which were Mm. taken in a single day back to back. Mm. And uh, in each round, they asked questions which were both uh, behavioral and technical. Like Mm. in the first 20 to 25 minutes, uh, they would uh, focus on the behavioral questions, Mm. which were based on leadership principles and situation-based problems. And in the remaining time, they would ask you to... uh, 
code the solution to a problem um, in a shared doc and you have to explain the logic clearly to the interviewer. So uh, uh, when it comes to the coding part, uh, they asked me uh, object-oriented design-based coding questions as well as normal DSA-based questions. And in the DSA-based questions, I would say the level was uh, lead code intermediate or lead code intermediate to hard. Hmm. Hmm. The video well, let me tell you about Relevel. Relevel is a platform by Unacademy through which you can get to your dream job within 15 days. Rahul Mukesh Singh's story is different. He started with commerce as his background, then he had BSc. Ki. But at the end, he had to choose a job in coding, and he had to choose a job in coding. So Rahul Mukesh Singh did what he did. He tested a test test in one month, and he got that particular job offer. He got that particular job offer. रीलेवल पे मोर देन टेन प्लस कैटेगरीज में यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर जॉब ओपनिंग जैसे एच आर ऑपरेशन प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर बैक एंड डेवलपमेंट फ्रंट एंड डेवलपमेंट डेटा साइंस तो ये बहुत सारी फील्ड हैं जो तुम एक्सप्लोर कर सकते हो एंड तुम इनके कोर्सेज भी देख सकते हो लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर द मल्टीपल डिफरेंट कोर्सेज दैट कम विद द मनी बैक गारंटी अगर तुम्हें फोर्टीन डेज में कोर्स कंटेंट पसंद नहीं आता या किसी भी तरीके से यू वॉन्ट टू गेट योर मनी बैक यू कैन गेट इट ईजीली तो चेकआउट कर सकते हो लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन गो एंड गिव दैट री लेवल टेस्ट इट्स कम्प्लीटली फ्री यू डोंट नीड टू पे एनीथिंग फॉर द री लेवल टेस्ट द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द वीडियो सो इन ऑल ऑफ दीज थ्री इंटरव्यूज लाइक द पैटर्न वाज द सेम लाइक फर्स्ट पार्ट बिहेवियरल देन अकॉर्डिंग क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट पार्ट बिहेवियरल देन अकॉर्डिंग क्वेश्चन राइट यस and you said that the difficulty level was around uh, medium level of lead code medium to hard or medium level of lead code right yeah, yeah. so like you gave all these three interview rounds uh, of the same format after that when did you hear back from them yeah actually uh, just a day after the interview the recruiter set up a meet and he told me that i have been selected okay great so that was that was pretty awesome like the entire journey entire experience you waited yeah. for one month for those interviews but uh, again you got an interview call i also like we were discussing about your interviews at google you also interviewed for google india right so how uh, was that was like, google warsaw yeah so you also interviewed for google warsaw so what was the experience there and like if you would like to share uh, your experience with google warsaw uh well after i applied uh, since they uh, were aware that i already hold the offer for amazon so mm-hmm. they skipped the initial uh, one round mm. uh, which was supposed to be a coding round and i uh, got to give the on site interviews directly mm. and in the interviews they in this uh, interview i actually got four rounds the mm. first three rounds were purely technical and the fourth round was behavioral which they call googleness round Hmm. uh and uh, the dsa questions were asked mostly in uh, in all the, in the first three rounds and i would say the difficulty level was lit code hard okay okay uh they would start with uh, the problem and you have you would have to code the solution going from the least optimized approach to the most optimized they hmm. would uh, expect the clear working code at the end of the session and each round was of 45 minutes in case of google all of these rounds were on the same day again yeah uh, no the first three rounds were on the same day and the googleness round was on the next day great great so you have had experience of interviewing at these international locations like uh, did you give any interviews for uh, companies in india uh, yes in on campus uh, placement i got placed at oracle india and okay. in off campus i got placed in deloitte india uh, so i had uh, yeah so you have had offers for oracle india as well as deloitte also great that's great to hear i would just come on to your preparation journey like if somebody is preparing for these international roles or somebody is preparing for software engineering roles so what all preparation resources did you follow and how did you prepare for data structural algorithms and other skills that were asked in your interviews uh well uh my original plan was to appear for gate and go for mtech mm. uh so i was actually preparing accordingly and uh from there only from the gate preparation only my computer science fundamentals part was uh, done mm. which is uh, asked in the first round of many companies mm-hmm. in off campus yeah uh, so i think uh, my cs fundamentals was uh, clear from that 
and uh, eventually uh, in six semester when the on campus placement started i uh, I, i started practicing coding more regularly uh, first i practiced on gfg then i moved on to lead code hmm. and i tried to be as consistent as possible i remember i tried to complete at least three problems each day on lead code uh, yes and uh, whenever i got stuck i would i would refer to the discuss section and if i do not understand the a solution from there i would search the problem on youtube and there are many awesome youtube channels mm. where the problem would be uh, properly described with the solution so okay. i think that worked for me mm -hmm. and even when i could solve a problem even then i would uh, refer to the discuss section to see if somebody has solved it in a better way than mine yeah that discuss section on lead code is really very useful whenever we are yeah. stuck or whenever we want to see the most optimal solution very less yes. time of code right so that's very like that's a very big resource and a very good resource that can help mm -hmm. us broaden our perspective of solving any problem that's something that is advisable okay. for anyone if even if you solve a problem you should check lead code discuss you might get a better approach with a shorter code efficient code yeah. right yeah so that that's a pretty awesome like uh, we'll we'll close upon by a final piece of advice that you would like to have for any person who is belonging to a tier 3 college and want to get into these international companies or want to get into any software engineering roles because people are into that boundary of 3 lakhs 4 lakhs 5 lakhs package they don't think beyond that so you being from that particular college uh, you cracked this role so you are kind of a motivation so what final piece of advice you would like to give to everyone uh well uh, at first there will be a lot of rejections i got rejections from a lot of companies off campus when i was uh, trying initially but uh, and at those times it is hard to stay motivated but you should keep going on you should keep practicing and you should stay consistent uh and obviously you should dream big very true very true thank you so much koshini again once again for sharing your journey for sharing your experience and coming on to this channel all the best for your new journey thank of the new job that is starting very very soon uh, wish you all the best once again thank you thank you so much